Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent sensei consultant with Happily Ascended Homes. I'm back today to do a quick little video for you guys. Um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for like my August melting basket because honestly, it's only July 23rd, but my mel my melting basket, like my empties basket, is like runneth over. Like I cannot shove any more in there. So I definitely need to like conclude June, get that empties video filmed, all of it in the recyclables and start anew. And I had noticed that Martha from Martha's Fragrance Corner, she had posted on her YouTube channel, but also her new Facebook page, her Facebook group page anyway, um, which is an extension to her YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to either her YouTube channel or joined her Facebook group, definitely do so. She's awesome. I've been watching her for at least a year now, and she's really great with scent descriptions, and um, she does vendor and scentsy. She's just awesome. So definitely check her out. Um, but she's doing a Summer Olympics wax melting challenge. So I figured, you know what? I really like the lavender and speckles one I did a little while ago. I'll go ahead and take part in this one. So I kind of have the, the like prompts and I pulled um, from my stash. So I figured it was a good way for me to also pull scents that I might necessarily pull myself if I was just like looking at my stash and saying okay this is what I want to warm because you know you have those in your club and not in your club in your stash that it's like you want to warm it but you don't because you don't know when you're going to get more so I'm like kind of in that like phase of my collection right now so we'll go ahead and pull up the prompts and I'll let you know where I'm going to um, start warming so this challenge doesn't start until Friday the 26th and it goes until the 11th of August um, so it's definitely about 17 day ish of you know melting for this so obviously like these scents won't fill like my entire house so i'll definitely be warming other stuff in conjunction with this um but these are the scents that i've chosen for the the prompts anyway okay so on day 26 it says the torch melt a scent with a smoky note so obviously the first one that came to mind was around the campfire um by sensi because that is like the epitome of like smokiness and stuff like that. But I only have one bar, you guys, and I'm not ready to warm it just yet. Um, so I was looking through my sash and I was like, you know what? I have two because I recently picked one up in a black market haul like last month or whatever. I was like, I'll go ahead and warm one of these. I'll still have one, so I'm not gonna be completely without of it but it does have a smokiness to it. It's more of a roasted note, but it comes off smoky to me anyway when I warm it. And that's Love and Happiness by Sensi. This is such a good scent. I could warm it year round, but it's got glazed, um, was it glazed vanilla, chestnuts? I should have pulled up and like warm brown, warm sugar. It's like warm vanilla sugar, and like glazed toasty chestnuts but man it's so good you literally have to smell this there's like no describing it like you have to smell this one in order to know what it smells like but it's so unique it is so unique the only thing that kind of comes close to this is midnight masquerade by sensi because that has like the same smoky roasty toasty note and then the vanilla note in here is very similar to the vanilla note that's in stargazing by sensi and i have stargazing and midnight masquerade in both my clubs um i also had love and happiness in my club at one point in my life and i was an idiot and kicked it out early not realizing that it would be forever and a day before this gets voted back. So this is my choice for prompt one, which is melt a scent with a smoky note. Prompt two is opening ceremony. Wax, uh, melt a wax with glitter or shimmer. So I chose a vendor wax, which was in a friend mail um, from Steph, the scented Gemini. And that is Teddy B's sugar chestnuts and apple butter. This is good. I've already warmed it once. I already warmed half of it, so I'll probably finish this up. But if I was to actually start ordering from Teddy B's, which I'm hoping I can start 
like come January, I need this. I need like a whole bunch of this for next fall. This is so good. And the scent notes are apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and lots of spice. This is very different from like other apple chestnut scents that I've had because there is a sweetness to this one. And I don't know if it's the brown sugar that's doing that. I mean, there's spices in here, but it's not overwhelming and like choke you the back of your throat spice. It's like the good like amount of it, but then there's that sweetness in here that just elevates it. This is so good. So this is my choice for the one with glitter or shimmer because it does have glitter in the wax. So, yeah, see? So that was my choice for glitter or shimmer. All right, so the 28th, a scent that reminds you of Paris or Paris in the name. I had to go with Almond Croissant. I normally save my almond croissant and do my mix of almond croissant and breakfast in bed, but I'm like, you know what? I just want to warm it on its own. Mm, this is so good. It's got almond paste and flaky croissant. There's almost like a vanilla bakery base to this too. It's very decadent, rich, buttery. I really, really enjoy this one. It's a good one to mix with a lot of different things. So I'll definitely enjoy warming that one. Uh, the 29th of July, Stamina, a long-lasting scent. My original thought was clothesline. I don't have any clothesline in my stash. Apparently, I warmed through all of my clothesline. So, my next go-to is Just Breathe. I can usually get a full week out of Just Breathe. Um, this one's got, like, eucalyptus and menthol and mint. It literally smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. This is Vicks Vapor Rub to me. It literally opens up your nostrils. It is so strong. I have gotten great performance and just breathe from just about everything that I have used in this fragrance. The body wash is really good in the shower because it kind of has like that spa quality. Um, but the pods are really, when they had this in pods, it was really good. Um, wax, it's amazing. I usually grab a whole bunch of scent circles and warm those in my car throughout the winter. But this is a long lasting scent for me. Like I said, I usually can get a full week and that's in smaller rooms, not like big open concepts or like large rooms, like a small room, like a bedroom or a bathroom. I can usually get a full seven days out of this. Mm, so, so good. If you like minty Vicks Vapor Hub, just breathe. Okay, July 30th, a wax with the color of your country's flag. So, I'm from the USA, so red, white, and blue. And I decided that I was going to hate warm <laughs> the rest of my Berries Jubilee. It's red. So, it goes with the prompt. I'll probably mix this with sugar cookie, to be honest, and try to, like, not, like, hate, hate warm it. But this is just a waxy chapstick berry scent. It's supposed to have like whipped like whipped cream and vanilla, but I really don't get that in this bar. It's mostly that artificial berry note that's in here. But I figured I've got half a bar. I'm never ever gonna wanna reach for this ever again. So I might as well just warm it and get it over with. So that is what we're gonna do. And like I said, I'll probably mix it with sugar cookie to kind of like spread it out and make it a little bit more pleasant. The 31st of July, 10,000 meter race, a wax with the longest name. Now I instantly thought of ocean air and coconut water, but I don't have any more of that either. It warmed through it all. So I was looking through my vendor wax and I know Lavender and Speckle, she's got some mouthfuls of some blends of her of her stuff so this is the one i had from her that had the longest name and it is a newer um pour but i've been dying to try it because it was like it was the one i went back in for like i did two orders and i actually went back in for it um so this is the brown sugar pecans and cream cheese cinnamon buns it's got cinnamon buns, brown sugar, pecan, and cream cheese frosting. So I definitely want to try this one. And it's not like heavy, heavy bakery either. And it's not like specific to fall. So it's still a really good time to, to warm this one. So we will warm that on the 31st. August 1st, beach volleyball. A wax that reminds you of the beach. 
Well, there was a couple I could have gone with, but it's still summer and I still want my heavy floral. So I decided to warm Blooming Beach by Sunsy. You have to like oceanic ozone and rose to really like this scent. This one will literally melt the socks off your feet. It is so strong. But I love it. I'm all here for it. And you would think I would hate this one with it being so strong and having those oceanic, like, atmospheric um, notes because I loathe Twilight. And that one has oceanic air and rose. But Blooming Beach is nowhere near the nastiness that Twilight is. So... I will happily warm Blooming Beach on that day. Um, uh, July 2nd, I'm not July 2nd, oh my gosh, August 2nd, swimming a wax with an aquatic note. So I wanted to work on my bricks. I've been working on my bricks this month and I wanted to continue doing that into August. So I decided to choose Orchard by the Sea. This is actually not my brick. This was original. Well, I bought it originally to, to do the reviews and stuff when these were the summer bricks, not summer bricks, spring bricks of 23. Um, but I gave my mom this brick after I reviewed it and warmed it because I didn't particularly care for it. And she loved it. And then a couple weeks ago when I was at her house, we warmed this and she could not stand it. And now I like it. So it just goes to show like how different your preferences can just change in a matter of like a year. So mm, I really like the apple in here and it's really had a chance to like develop with all this cure time. So I'm definitely going to enjoy working some more on this one. As you can see, I have like a partial cube here. So hopefully I plan on like using this much. So that way I have four cubes left, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll put it in like all my warmers. Who knows? All right. August 3rd is, let's see, surfing a wax with ocean spray or sea salt. So going with the theme of working on my bricks, I'm finally going to crack open this sea salt and avocado brick. Um, I have not yet open this sucker up. I think I got this back in February. So it's been a while. And this completely broke off while in transit to me. So it's been broken. They told me I could mail it back, but why? I mean, this isn't going to affect the wax or anything like that. So we are going to go ahead and warm this one. It's so good. It's my favorite greenery scent by Scentsy. Um, Farmer's Market's like my second favorite, but this is my, like my ride or die greenery scent. It's Valencia orange, Himalaya pink salt, and creamy avocado and vanilla. I think vanilla's in it. Maybe not. Maybe it's just creamy avocado. But it's so good. And it's so strong, too. Like, it's a really good performer. I usually get a full 24 hours on this one. So we'll warm that one. Uh, August 4th, a blend that's unique or hard to create. Um, so for that one... I did go with stargazing. This one is so weird on the scent description. It's like fluffy clouds, stars, skies, vanilla something. I don't know. It's again, it's so unique and weird that you just have to, I just took off a chunk, um, warm it and sniff it to really see what it smells like. I just get like dreamy, romantic, like vanilla. It almost reminds me of Ariana's um, cloud perfume that she has. Um, but we'll go ahead and warm that because it's definitely unique. I have it in my club, so I don't care that I'm warming a bar of it because I can get it forever and ever with always get my bar perk. So whatever. Uh, let's see. August 5th. Team Sport. Melt two scents that work great together. So it's been a while since I've done this mix and it's still summer, so it's still appropriate. And it's my last two bars, so I figured, why the heck not? So we are going to mix cocoa lime and pineapple dragon fruit. This is the best lime, citrus, fruity, summery mix ever. And if you got lemon verbena from this Bring Back My Bar, which it's currently still available, do all three. Amazing. Pineapple dragon fruit. Oh, just the epitome of summer. It really is. 
it's the epitome of a fruit smoothie in the summertime. And then cocoa lime is just a really great lime scent by Scentsy. This one does have creamy vanilla and um and lime. And it's like zesty fresh lime too. So that would be a really good mix to do again. I highly recommend it. I do it time and time again. My glasses keep falling off my face. I have new ones. I ordered them and they've been ready at my um, optometrist's office for like four months. And I have yet to go pick them up. And every time I remember to pick them up, it's always on a day that the um, optical center is not open. And then when I do remember to pick them up, or when I don't, that's when they call me and, and it reminds me. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to go get those. I probably should. Okay, next. August 6th, a scent you have the most of in your collection. So currently, the one bar that I have the most of is Cozy Chai. But I always warm one bar of that a month. And I really didn't want to pick it this month. So instead, I chose Plumeria Peach because I've got six of these. So this was in the spring and summer catalog of 21 and then they discontinued it. It was that one spring catalog where I decided to only club Lush Gardenia and be fabulous and then I never clubbed anything else again. I don't know why. This is my favorite peach scent by Sunsy. The Plumeria in here, it doesn't give it like heavy plumeria like in soft plumeria you know how strong and heavy that one is that's not like this this is like sweet plumeria with the sweet peach mm, so good so i'm definitely going to enjoy warming that for the end of the summer so that'll be awesome uh let's see august 7th metal a round shaped wax well the only round shaped wax i have is uh lavender and speckles because I chose the tub of Teddy Bees for a different prompt. So we're going to go ahead and finish off the um, last two bunts that I have of Oceanside Laundry. This one's Sea Air, Jasmine, Driftwood, and Fresh Laundry. This is phenomenal. Um, this will always be a repurchase for me but with Lavender and Speckles. Oh, it's so good. It's like laundry, if you hung laundry, fresh laundry, on a line on a beach. So good and what i'm trying to do with lavender speckles too is i'm trying to like warm like the wax that i got from my first ever order from her back last february so that way um i can make room for the newer stuff that's coming in because i did go in on the july pre-order so that was like another reason why i picked this one uh, let's see, August 8th, metal count, melt from a vendor you have the most of. So I didn't count Scentsy as a vendor. So the vendor that I have the most of is Lavender and Speckles. So I decided to wear my last cube of Coastal Pine Cones. I do have more coming to me from the July pre-order. Um, but Coastal Pine Cones is roasted pine cones with hints of lemon, marine, air, and sea greens. Mm. This is what made me fall in love with her pine cone. Um, nope. And I love the lemon in here and like the hits of the sea greens. Oh, it's so good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off that. I'll probably just warm this like in my office or something that day. All right, let's see. August 9th, winner takes the gold, a favorite scent. So, oh, okay. I was trying to read my notes to see which one I picked because I was confused there for a second. Okay, so this one is the one I decided to pick um, for favorite scent. I, I picked it for a reason. So it was my favorite scent last summer from the scent of the months from Scentsy. And I don't think I've even warmed it yet this summer. So that's why I chose it as a favorite. Is it like a top 10 favorite of mine? No, but it is a favorite. So I do want to warm it again. It's my last bar of it. I do have it in my club, but I'm not going to get my club for like another six months. So a little hot orchid. This was the scent of the month. Um, was it last year? Yeah, it was last year um, in May. It went with the Lux Leaves Warmer. 
This has got like coconut creme and it's got uh, plumeria and pineapple. It just smells like fruity floral goodness on a Hawaiian beach. It really does. Mm, I love it. So I'm going to warm that on that day. And then August 10th, it says every four years, a scent that is hard to come by. Well, it's hard to come by because I was completely out of it. And then I found five on a D stash sale. So we are going to warm Jade and Jasmine. This sucker is hard to come by. I recently did a search like on Macari and eBay and stuff like that. And there's like maybe three sellers selling just this scent and this scent alone. my favorite masculine scent by Scentsy and it wasn't even designed to be a masculine scent it was a uh, scent of the month in January of 21 and it was a fresh scent that's how they advertised it new year fresh start you know that type of thing I think it was the wrong type of year because not a lot of people liked this scent it was also a scent of the month still when they were doing bricks in the scent of the month kit so a lot of people were able to get bricks of this stuff and I would love to buy anybody's brick off of them if you hate this scent because this is just phenomenal. I love this thing. It's got like blue, blue green mint and like Meyer lemon and I think bergamot. But man, oh man, I could warm this all day, every day. So that is my one that's hard to come by because I don't have it in my club. It's a scent of the month. So it's probability of being on the voting rounds for Bring Back My Bar are unlikely. And the only other time I saw this available was two years ago. They did like a warmer bundle where you got to pick the classic curve warmer, I believe it was. And then there was like a list of 25 cents that you could do like a five bar for free if you bought the warmer. And Jade and Jasmine was on the list. So that was the last time I saw it being offered was two years ago. So, And then last but not least, on August 11th, um, it says warm and underdog scent. A scent that you bought as a wild card. So in Melting Memories, um, she's a Canadian wax vendor. I had done a pre-order for her in June and I picked Pinecone Cookies and that was my wild card. I chose it because I liked the Pinecone note that I was getting from Lavender and Speckles. So I wanted to branch out and try another vendor's Pinecone. And it would have been, it was not something that I would have picked up on my own. But let me tell you, I am so freaking glad I did. Pinecone cookies is roasted pinecone sugar cookie and cashmere cream. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. It's literally so stunning that I, it takes my breath away. Like I have no words, no words. Mm, I could warm this all the time, all the friggin' time. So I'm definitely going to enjoy warming this again. As you can see, I only have like warmed like half a cube to test it out. Um, so I'm probably going to definitely throw in a lot more than just half a cube. But that is my wild card. So that's what I plan on doing for Martha's Challenge. So I hope you guys enjoyed me going um, over the scents I chose for the prompts. Curious to see if any of you guys are going to be uh, going in on the challenge. And if so, what... Did you pick for your prompts? Um, did you have like any like themes? Like were you trying to use up vendor wax? Were you trying to use up Scentsy? Um, you know, what was your thought process? Love to continue the conversation in the comment section. And as always, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, guys. I appreciate all the support and love. I know I ramble. I know I make long videos. I know I cuss. I know I'm pretty much brutally honest and some people might not get my comic relief, but it's just me. It's who I am. I'm only as authentic as I want to be and I try to be 100% authentic with you guys. So I appreciate all the love, all the support and until next time guys. Bye.